So, now that we've got our video playing, let's see what we can do with it. The first thing that I'm going to do is a little more styling. I actually want my video not only to do autoplay true. By the way, if I, if I get rid of this and I hit save, you'll see that now at the bottom here, oh, and I add controls, then I'm going to get this playhead control. And you can actually style your own playhead. You could even use JavaScript to control the video. But this is the default playhead for uh, for Firefox. So by saying autoplay true, it's going to play automatically. I can also say preload, which will mean that it'll load it as quickly as possible. And I'm also going to set it to loop. So it's just going to play over and over again automatically. Now, one more thing I want to do is actually style this thing. So go back to your style.css file. And what we can do is we can actually style this video tag. So I'm going to go video, position, absolute, width, 100%, height, 100%, margin, 0, 0 and Z index of one. So it's going to be the first in the first layer. So now it's appearing as the complete width of the page, which is kind of neat. And it's, stale, it's scaling dynamically. Now, if I make sure that other things on my page are absolutely positioned, I'm going to lose these scroll bars, which is a good thing. So the next thing I want to do is make sure that my section is also position absolute. And I'm going to refresh this. And I'm going to set a z-index of 100. Anything higher than 1 will do. And there we go. Now we're starting to get something a little more interesting, where the video is just you know, underneath. You could have like a video of nature, or you could have anything kind of dynamic in the background. And it would maybe be like this moving texture in your web application. So. I'm going to take this a step further and I'm going to start building out a navigation and we'll see what kind of website we can build here. So for the navigation, as we've done before, I'm going to use the nav tag so that the robots out there are going to know that I'm dealing with navigation. Create an unordered list, list items. And let's say home. About products, services, and let's say contact us. Refresh this again. So now these guys are appearing up there with a bit of styling we're going to have a really nice website. So I'm going to add a nav section. Whoops. Again, position absolute. A Z index of 100. Display block. I'm going to set the width to 800 pixels. It's going to be left 50 pixel, 50%. This is a way of getting centered positioning with position absolute set. So if you want something to be center aligned, normally if you're doing relative positioning, you would just do margin zero auto. But because we're doing absolute positioning, we're going to say left 50%, which tells the browser that you want to push it 50% to the left. Now to compensate for this, we're going to say margin left minus 400 pixels. So what I'm doing here is I'm basically saying that I want you to start your positioning at the midpoint of the browser, but because I have a width of 500 or 800 pixels, I'm then going to shift it back half of its margin. Then uh, I'm going to add a background of some kind of uh, beige, I guess. I'm going to do 332F28 and a height of 35 pixels, I guess a border of one pixel, 
solid 777, so like a gray border, and then I'm only going to have the border on the the left, the bottom, and the right. So border width of zero pixels, that's the top, one pixel right, one pixel bottom, and one pixel to the left. So already we've got this kind of background thing coming across. 